Good morning, people. This is Christian, and I'm at my computer playing on with Fusion Fixes. And I say good morning because it's Sunday morning, and for one and a half week, I have been coughing and sneezing because I got a cold. Uh, so I haven't had a time or energy to put up my workflow on this little part. So, uh, first, of course, uh, let's open up a body, right click, and select properties. The volume I got is 20,260, like a lot of other people got for this little challenge I made. And if you happen to have set your preferences, you can find it. I don't, I've forgotten where in preferences. You can select a scientific notific notification. And then you get this range 2.026E plus uh, 04, I think it says out. That is uh, 2.026 times 10 to the power of 4. And that's the same thing. Uh, I really recommend turning off that. If you used to read in scientific notification, you can have it on, but I think it's confusing. I prefer to see the numbers. All the numbers, pretty much numbers. Uh, anyway, that's that. Uh, that's that's the volume. You need to know for new. No, gonna remove it. Goodbye. And we have an empty part here. We can do like this, and we're gonna move up a little drawing over here. And let's have a look at it. Uh, some things. Uh, of course, I made this, so I know what I've done. Uh, if you happen to take a look at the timeline in my early version, that's done with surfaces. I have a solution or the workflow I'm gonna do now because it could be, it's going to be using um, solids instead. Uh, because that's more simple. I just use surface in the start to get the body working. I like. I have slightly different workflows when I try to create something from nothing and then I have a drawing to work from uh, because looking at this I see something first of all wall fitness uh, two millimeters gives me two ways to work basically I can work with surfaces and add thickness or I can use with solids and use shell to get the constant thickness of two millimeters in this case I'm going to do with solids or somewhere in my way I might end up with solids so let's see what we do uh, I also see we have a couple of uh, dimensions which I'm going to use like parameters let's do it first Change parameters, let's add these. I'm gonna have a high, if you type right on the keyboard, it's gonna be 100. I'm gonna have a whoop, sorry, square width that is 60. I um, have a face width that is 5. And the hole here for the cable, and that is multiples of this face with here. So that's the same five. So I'm going to reuse that. I will not do the separate parameter. So the hole will follow if I change the face with this. Yeah, you can do it. I just want to have parameters to be able to change some things. I prefer to do a fully parametric model with all the sketches fully defined. So if I'm, uh, that's what I did when I created this, I was playing around with the hive. I think 100 millimeters looks uh, nice, cute. What do you want to call it? So I want to be able to change this dimension for some reason. I want to make it larger, smaller, yeah, fit for purpose I want. That's the first thing I said, that uh, using the dimensions, looking at the wall thickness is it constant, so I know slightly where I want to go. Uh, the other thing, of course, which was a design intent, this is a very symmetric body. It's circular symmetric in four parts. It's symmetric on the hive if you split it down the middle. The only thing that's different is, of course, the top here with the support for a cable and a lamp. You want to put in that, and that's open, opening a bottom. Uh, so, designing this thing, I want to place uh, the region point in the center, in here, and get the planes to cut the part in multiple ways. So that's the basic idea. So I'm going to start with that. We're going to start the sketch. We're going to start on here. So looking for the top. And I want to do a square, we could use a rectangle, but I sometimes want to do straight squares. I use polygons, circles, guys, so in any version is not important. Tab over to four sides. That was wrong. Let's do that again. I hit some wrong somewhere on my way. Here, I'm going to tab. I'm going to tab four sides. I'm just going to pull it out like this, starting constraining it. I know it's going to be vertical or horizontal, and a good dimension. This side here, and that's going to be our square width. Let Fusion think for a while. Like that, uh, by using the polygon constraint, I get very little constraints in the sketch. It's very clean. I have a polygon constraint here, and the horizontal vertical one here, or if you want to put it on the vertical one, up to you. And only one dimension, and everything is, if we open up here, fully defined. And I forgot one thing. I forgot to create the components. Let's do like I do in other videos. I'm going to back up. 
new component we should always work in components lantern like that i go back to the top level i move a timeline up so i get the sketch i take the sketch and pull it inside the component and now i go back to my component if you didn't see how i do that i have a small video specifically if you forget to create a component which i do a lot so let's go home and see so now i have the square the square here is of course the center plane down here so that's not enough i forgot some things i really don't want to do the full square i think i'm just going to do one corner if you have a look at this corner here this is a square extruded all the way up here and then there's a triangle cut out of this this happened to be a quest in one of the facebook groups basically do the same thing so i'm going to do some lines here so i will only do one quarter for now like that i'm going to create an offset plane I'm going to hold down to be sure I select the plane and offer profile. This is because if I do something to the profile, the offset plane might crash. I'm going to select the, the plane and the distance is going to be half. And we're only doing half, so we divide it by two. Create a sketch on our new beautiful plane. And I will project in uh, the useful edges I need. I'm going to need this edge out here and this. Uh, I might as well take all of this. This is our interesting geometry and I make a line from here to here. So by doing this, I have created basically this shape up here. I created the line here using no dimension, only projecting things. So I'm going to finish sketch like that. And we're going to do start with extrude. So we first extrude this distance to object. I'm going to select up here. And then I'm going to do a loft 8S of the keyboard to start search, search, shortcut searching. And I want a loft. I'm going to do some blue ones, the solid ones. Select the triangle up here and this point down here. And we automatically do a cut. And I hit OK. There are different ways to do this. But the thing is, I can't loft from a square to a triangle because there is one corner missing. And we create a very strange... Uh, I'll open up everything so you can see things. Fully defined sketches. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. So by that, I created that. I'm gonna move this. Uh, now there are some different ways to do things. I like to get things to full body immediately. So I'm gonna do S circular. Wrong page. Circular pattern. Circular pattern of bodies. This body. Axis. I can just simply select the edge of a body. I wanna have four instances. I'm in solid, so I'm going to select everyone. Window select, this is the fast way you can do it behind clicking bodies later. But if you select every front, just hit combine. It will understand that there's one target body and three tool bodies. And we do join and I say thank you. And I get one body. We can look for front again. Uh, so what I've done now, I created half the part, basically. The problem is, of course, I need to make these two one constant thickness. So I would do that now. I will shell out here and that's going to be thickness i forgot to put that as a parameter so we're going to do parameter one more parameter add thickness two millimeters do the shell command again click here and do thickness like that and we have created our hollowed out body and uh, there are some different ways to do this uh so now i want to create the cutout in the faces i'd like to work step by step you can combine some of these steps but sometimes it get confusing i like to sometimes work uh, like one thing at a time so if something goes wrong i can go back and look at where did i go wrong we're gonna create a sketch and of course we're gonna use the faces we have this face here we're gonna project in every whole face like that thank you and uh, we're gonna do offset Hit S and key to find the sketch offset. And the one I want to do, I want do not want to do all lines. So I turn off chain selection. It's these two lines I want to do. And that's going to be minus face width, like that. And I got a five millimeter that's the width face. You can see uh, it's in there. That's the five millimeters. We are working on this thing here now. So let's go. We're going to do finish sketch. We're going to do extrude of this profile. And as I'm a laser, I'm just going to do distance to object and select the inside of this face. Get a nice cut. I could pattern these now, but there are another cut I want to do. I want to do this cut out here too. I'm going to create a sketch on uh, this face. 
I will project in the face. S and offset, use sketch offset, all these lines, minus face width, finish. I'm gonna extrude that profile distance to object. Once again, turn around, click the back of the face, the back of the body. We get nice clean cutouts. I cannot turn off the sketches. So we've done two extrudes. So I could start working up here, but I really don't want to end these two now. So I do all the faces. So I'm going to do a circular pattern. In this case, I will select the features and select the two extrude features. I'm going to do here and for speed, I will select optimized. It will only copy your faces because everything is similar so far. So this should work. Okay. And yes, we got all the cutouts. Thank you. And let's do, uh, yeah, we can do the things on top here as we're working. We create a sketch on top. Here is a like a, a order of operation. That's a bit of a taste thing in what you want to do. I'm going to still do projects. I would do sketch offset again. Uh, change selection, make it faster. Make it minus face width like that. So if I move over here now, I have done, we are down here. I've done that. I have two circles. Let's do the circle loops over here, circle. Uh, that's going to be face width. I'm going to do another circle. That's going to be face width uh, times three. I've got my two circles and I hate when they put summation inside the circles. So what I'd like to do is take these, drag them out somewhere where they are out of the way, but I still can see them. I can put down these here too. Uh, all the dimensions down here and we're going to need i want to do this so i want to create this shape here so i do a line that's going to be from here to here from here to here make sure they are horizontal constraint or in most of this case a perpendicular to each other and i can dimension i select line and here tap it up here and this is going to be face width divided by two as i'm going to half of it and dimension from this to here click out here now i could type in face width divided by two again but i can simply just click this dimension and pick it up like that i don't need to do it once more and that is everything i want to do yes what i want to do now is extrude these two shapes distance to object let's turn around i'll do it to here like that I make a pattern. I could do a feature pattern. It doesn't matter if we pattern right here, but you, just to show some different ways to do it, S on keyboard, a circular pattern. I could, I need to turn off a sketch to see things better. Features, no, I want to do faces. This is a bit more tedious to select, but I can select individual faces like this. And axis, just for the fun, I can't see here, but what I can do, I can select any round circular object fusion will understand if i click on the inside here uh, as i have axis selected it understands but i want to do it around the center line of uh, the center of this cylinder or of the circle quantity four yes uh, okay as i select faces i cannot select how it does this selecting facing and doing optimized is the same basically the same thing so we have created half our body so we're going to do s of a keto we're going to do a mirror we're going to mirror, new, we're going to mirror bodies. The advantage of mirroring bodies, we you see in a short while here, select, I can select the plane or I can select part of the body. It automatically gets changed the joint. Remember that it has, if you don't want to join bodies, you have to turn these to new bodies, but I want to join it. So I say, thank you. And uh, of course, there's a mistake at the bottom. I'm going to cut out everything. So I can do this a couple of different ways. I'm just going to create a sketch on this plane here. I'm going to turn on the earlier sketch I had and I'm going to do a projection of uh, these four lines, which I already created earlier here, like that. And if I hide the body, you can see I have a new square. Turn off that, finish sketch. I extrude this distance to object. Once again, turn around, find the inside face and I hit OK. And I'm going to hide the sketch. And by that, I have created a part. Let's check if I did it correctly. Properties, 20,260 cubic millimeters and some, some more over here. Uh, so that's how I did it. And the good thing now, if everything works, I haven't done mistakes. All sketches are fully defined, so they should work. Modify, change parameters. 
make this full screen now uh, I should be able to change this to like 60 which gives me a cube octahedron where all the faces are square and there are triangle here or uh, 120 I can make a face width uh, a bit thicker like that give it smaller of course it changed the whole type here so, I, so this is what I like about doing these I did this uh, the first version of course too uh, not the first first version, first one was a crash uh, but later so I could play around with different dimensions and see what's what good looking and giving people a reasonable challenge to do things so this was my workflow uh, I forgot to do something, I hope I didn't confuse you too much if you like things later please leave a comment down below if you want to see me do more and the thing I want to ask you, do you want to have the volume up front so you know what volume you want to hit if you've done it correctly or do you want to do it like a small channel where people can pop in and tell what some dimension like volume or area or the weight of a part probably the weight of a part is that you had to add physical material and sometimes the setting can be different specifically if you run a, another software than Fusion 360 so but anyway please leave a comment if you want to see more like this and have some other ideas with that said take care see you around and goodbye